Hello everyone. Today we are diving into a crucial concept in fixer design and work holding, the 3-2-1 principle. This method ensures parts are accurately positioned before machining, assembly or inspection. Without this principle, misalignments and errors could lead to costly manufacturing defects. Let's break it down step by step. What is 3-2-1 principle? The 3-2-1 principle is a fixturing method that restricts a parts 6 degrees of freedom, 3 translational movements on x, y, z and 3 rotational movements about the x, y, z axis. It ensures a workpiece is fixed in a stable and a repeatable position. Think of it like placing a box on a table. The 3 points at the base prevent vertical movement, z axis. The 2 points on the back stop movement along the y axis. The 1 point on the side locks the part along the x axis. Once these points are defined, the part stays fully constrained and doesn't shift during machining or assembly. Why is 3 2, 1 principle really important? This principle is used in fixture design for manufacturing, ensuring stability. The workpiece remains stationary while being worked on. Repeatability, ensuring that multiple parts are machined identically. Accuracy, parts maintain their precise dimensions and tolerances. Example, imagine an automotive chassis being welded together. If parts move even slightly, misalignment can occur, leading to a very poor assembly quality. The 3 to 1 principle prevents this by keeping every component precisely in place. The real world applications could be CNC machining, where workpieces are clamped in jigs and fixtures to ensure accurate milling and drilling. At the automotive industry, whereas in the BAW components, these fixtures are used for positioning the car panels before welding it. Inspection and meteorology. Parts like engine blocks are placed on a CMM, which is this coordinate measuring machines for identifying dimensional accuracy checks. And on the assembly lines, this ensures parts like dashboard components, door panels are all correctly polished before robotic assembly. What common challenges do we have? Even though this 3 2 1 principle is a structured method, there are certain challenges. First thing is vibration or unstable clamping. To avoid this, one should use additional locators or rubber damping. There are challenges of deformation of thin parts. To avoid this, one should use support fixtures to distribute clamping forces. There could be some complex geometries. One should use custom designed locator pins and surfaces. And that's 3 to 1 principle explained. Whether in CNC machining, automotive welding or quality inspection, this principle ensures accuracy, repeatability and stability in manufacturing. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more engineering insights.